The Grizzly Men's Soccer Class of 2015 is made up of only one member, but Martin Lugo carries a career tradition with him as he steps out onto the field. Lugo attended the very first GGC soccer tryout in 2012. Four years later, his legacy can be found in the record books and in the trophy cases. Recently, I had the honor to sit down with Lugo to revisit the good times and look forward to the future of GGC men's soccer. How did you become a Grizzly? Well, after graduating high school, my plan was to go to Mexico and try out. And I actually I had a scout tell me, you know, that I would be heading over there in the summer as soon as I as I graduated. But that kind of fell through, and and you know I lost a lot of opportunities I had to go to bigger schools as well and all that. But you know I'm happy I ended up here. Tell me that story again. You you showed up here to GGC, heard about a tryout. There was a bunch of guys here, and yeah. coach picks a handful of you guys. Well, looking back at it, you know it's it seems like it was. Just yesterday that, that that I was here, and I mean, it's been good. You know, I feel like I, I've grown as a player, and I've I'm, I've seen the program grow as well, and you know, makes me happy to see that. What's been the best part about your times here at George Gwinnett? Well, mentioning that about the grass fields, you know, actually, I, I kind of enjoyed playing there more because you know we had a we had a better crowd. You know, it was right by the dorms; everybody would get out. But, you know, these facilities and everything, these are great facilities. And, you know, it's, I've enjoyed being here. What's been the best part about kind of the new Georgia Gwinnett with these facilities being built? Well, I mean, just the fact that we have access to the facilities whenever we want to, you know. You know, uh, we can come in and work out as long as there's, some, there's a trainer available. But, you know, we're kind of, this is kind of our home, you know. You know, we can, we can come in whenever we want, and I like that. What's your fondest memory of being a Grizzly? I'd say winning that first conference tournament, like you said, there's a lot of guys uh, that were here that year, that were that were here from the first year. So you know it was, you know it was it, it was special to be able to win that first conference tournament with the same with a lot of the same guys that were here since the beginning. Give me a good coach to coup story. Well, I think Ian mentioned this last year when he just kind of went through you know, my sophomore year, you know. She was, you know, grabbed me by the, by the shirt and was screaming at me. It was pretty scary, but, you know. What would you learn from that? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, knew, I knew it was just in the heat of the moment, you know. And the, you know, the things weren't going too well. You know, we weren't performing as well as we should have, you know. And, you know, nobody was happy, so I understood that. Why did he pick you that day? You have any, you still have any idea why? I guess maybe he was, I was talking while he was trying to talk, you know, so, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. And now we've learned, we've grown, we've moved on here. Now we're in our senior season. Do you reflect back a little bit? What What's a lesson that you've learned that you'd pass on to future Grizzlies? Well, a lesson or something I would suggest for them, for our future Grizzlies, is just to just do what they're told, you know. And, you know, they're here, they're here to be a student athlete and, you know, just keep it that way. There's no need to get involved in any, in any extracurriculars or anything like that. And, you know, just focus on your studies and, and play hard. You may uh, bring us to a consensus here. This is the third time we've done this. In the previous two classes have all had the same answer. We get Coach May versus Coach Deku in the alumni game next year. Mm -hmm. Who, who's the first pick in the alumni game? I'd say uh, German. Yeah. Really? Yeah, German. I miss having him out there at practice, you know. And I'll be able to join him next year as an alumni. Have you thought about life after soccer and what graduation holds for Martin Lugo? Well, I plan to go try out in Mexico. You know, luckily I know this guy that he might be able to get me a trial in the second division there, in the second division team there. Now that's my plan to go try out. But you know, I'm also looking into you know getting a job and maybe opening a business with my dad. Take me into the locker room right now. Season's over. Getting ready for that AI tournament. What's um, what's the mentality like on the team? Where's your mindset heading into uh, the postseason? We're just forgetting about the past. You know, you know, like you said, it's coming down to the end. It's a new season. You know, it's crunch time, and you know, we're just focusing on the next game and practicing good. Who's helped you to get to where you're at today? Well, I'd like to thank my family. You know, for supporting me since I was, you know, just a little kid for for always wanting the best for me, for doing whatever whatever was possible for me to, you know, to keep advancing in my, in my soccer career. And also, you know, I mentioned my girlfriend before, but, you know, I've been with her for about four years now. So, and, you know, she's, whenever I'm feeling down or whatever, she, she's helped me 
to stay focused on, on what I want and my goals. So I'd like to thank her as well. Well, Lugo, I've said this before to the other classes, not that I was lying to them, but I definitely, definitely mean it from the bottom of my heart. You're going to be solely missed, my man, and we're, we're looking forward to that AI yeah, tournament, you. seeing you out there one more time, and uh, you really embody what Grizzly Athletics is about here, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Martin Lugo and the Grizzlies will begin their journey toward capturing their third consecutive AII championship on Wednesday, November 11th at 1 p.m. For more information about the AII tournament, log on to grizzlyathletics.com.